Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is the first day of four days of sunshine. So today I'm going to be getting ready to install the rubber roof. Step one today is to dry things off in here and try to get the, the roof deck dry. I started at like five in the morning. I came out here and put this fan on, but it was already drying a little bit. The rain stopped last or yesterday evening at some point and it started drying out in here. So what I'm gonna do is just um, move this fan around, squeegee, get rid of the rest of the water in here I'm gonna staple that stuff back on so it hold so it doesn't have the wind blowing in here and then I'm gonna set up the torpedo heater back in here somewhere like blowing against that back wall so the heat rises and I want to warm this deck up and get the deck dry that's the the only thing that needs drying is the deck up there this this doesn't need to be dry really so as the deck dries i'm gonna get up there and sand any bumps and lumps and try to find any screws that need to be um, screwed in a little bit more or removed altogether uh, nails any anything that's uh, gonna poke the rubber needs to be addressed then if there's any time left i might do some of the foam work I'm not going to start on the rubber at all today um, and this evening Natalie and I are going to be running to town as soon as uh, as soon as the sun sets we're gonna run to town and get a few more things that I need for the roof um, I'd rather have extra than not enough I won't be able to rush to town and get stuff very easy once I start on the roof so I'm gonna make sure I have more than enough of all of the supplies what I'm running for basically is one more gallon of it's called multi-purpose adhesive and that's because as I watch the videos it's looking like I need to use multi-purpose adhesive on all the vertical surfaces so I need a bit more than what I was thinking and a little less of the other type of adhesive which I can just return when I'm done so that's the deal Right now, I'm going to staple that up, get this dried out in here, and then uh, I'm going to set up a fan up on top on the particularly wet areas, like right along there where the water came off of the roof deck and was kind of trapped up there. Set some fans and stuff up there. It's going to be a windy day, which is actually a plus. So hopefully things get dried out. Oh, and the big thing. Today, the boys and I, my nephews are here, Justin and Jason, they both have a, a junction named after them in the woods. They're going to help me get that big roll of rubber roofing up on the roof. Once it's up there, I, I believe I can manage it just fine. All I got to do is unroll it until I get uh, half of it, which is, it's a 50 foot roll. So once I have 25 feet unrolled, I can cut it in half then roll up the two halves. Each half should weigh about a hundred pounds and I can handle that. Also, I don't know how much I can film because Natalie's got friends coming over. They're gonna be having a fire right there and stuff. So I kinda, I kinda hate filming in front of people, a little bit shy. So we'll see how much of it I can film. I'm, I'm at least going to get the roll of rubber going up to the roof so stay tuned and time to get busy
I just got back from town picking up that propane cylinder. I ran it for a while this morning and ran out of propane, so I had to run to town and get two fresh tanks. What I'm doing is heating up the deck up there so it dries off quicker. It was completely saturated from the several days of nonstop rain. So it's been drying out all morning and it is now 2.30 and I just started sanding up there. I'll go show you that. Um, Natalie's got her boyfriend and a foreign exchange student over, so trying to avoid them. They have never seen the YouTube channel. So you saw earlier my nephews and I getting this pig up here. I mean, it is incredibly heavy. They say it weighs 200 pounds. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it feels like it. Okay, so what I've been doing, I just started, got my little knee roller dolly, started sanding. I have to get the first six inches done right away before anything else because that uh, there's a, what's it called, reinforcing strip that goes all the way around right at the edge of the parapet and that goes on first tomorrow so once I get all the way around oh, six eight inches and the sides of the parapet here then I'll get out and do the the field here probably early in the morning at six o'clock as soon as it starts getting dark I need to head to town and get a couple things for tomorrow and hopefully I can get this whole roof down tomorrow remains to be seen I've never done it before so I don't know how long it takes and all that stuff but we'll soon find out all right I'm gonna get back to sanding you can see wherever there's a screw hole um, like this this there's all kinds of splinters and uh, the rain gets in there and swells it up a little bit in that area and once you start sanding it some sometimes a flake like a whole flake like this will come off which is fine but it just I really want it to happen before I start gluing the deck down or gluing the rubber down so let's get going
Okay, that'll wrap things up. I sanded roughly, you know, six inches to a foot all the way around and the entire face of the parapet all the way around. So, tomorrow, first thing, I think I need to get, there's a reinforcing strip that goes all the way around. It's either five or six inches wide, I can't remember. But it uses like a contact cement. They don't call it contact cement. They call it multi-purpose adhesive. But it's applied to both sides and then you let it dry just like contact cement. So I guess it is just contact cement. But the thing is, it's going to be kind of hard to do because I can apply it to this whole thing fairly easy. But the roll of edging or reinforcing strip, I would have to apply it to it and roll it back up or somehow get it so that I can roll it back out without it sticking in the wrong spot. You know, it's not that easy to do once once uh, contact adhesive uh, grabs hold. You can't reposition it, so you, you're going to want to roll it out or somehow keep it off the adhesive as you lay it down. So, like I said, uh, getting it on the uh, on the board itself, that's not going to be hard, but getting it onto the the reinforcing strip, that's going to be another story. I don't, I might be able to lay it out flat, put the adhesive on it, and roll it back up, and then roll it onto here. I can give it a try. Once that stuff is dry, it shouldn't, it shouldn't stick to, you know, it shouldn't stick to the roll, so I should be able to roll it up, but I don't know. It'll be interesting. So I have no idea how far we're going to be able to get tomorrow. I know I'll be able to get that on. Once I get that reinforcing strip all the way around, I need to go over the center part of this and make sure I don't have any screws, make sure the edges and corners aren't lifted up too much. Like that one right there was really bad so this one's probably going to be really bad too that board is uh, several years older than the rest of these and this one is a year older and has some flaws in it you know it's cut wrong and stuff so who knows what I'm going to find I didn't, I didn't go around and check all the corners yet but I have a feeling I have some sanding to do but if you, if you look around I did probably half of it already. There isn't that many edges and corners, so it shouldn't be too hard. And I don't have to go over this whole thing. I just have to find the screws and make sure the screws aren't raised up around them and the screws and the edges are pretty much it and loose stuff, so it shouldn't take too gosh off along. Then I gotta clean it really well so it's possible that's as far as I'm going to get tomorrow maybe I can get this cut in half this has to be rolled out 25 feet of it has to be rolled out then cut in half this way and then one half is going here one half is going there and I have to figure out where my center line will be because this parapet's bigger and it's going to go up the parapet the center line is not going to be dead center, and I don't want it over this uh, gap right here anyway, so I'll have to figure out where I want that too. So, should be interesting. If you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments on this stuff, make sure you put them in the comment section below. I generally answer all the comments. And if you give the channel a like or a share, it helps the channel out greatly, and I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.